hello and welcome to another episode of J-Man Can Allotment Diary. As usual, there's going to be two parts to this particular video. First part is going to be looking at some progress that I've actually got and, and I have done at the allotment and I'm going to do a little bit of work about that. And the second part, as usual, is going to be hints and tips on allotment in growing veg and what I'm going to talk about this week is going to be growing vegetables productively. There's a lot of different things that you can do uh, to make yourself productive at the allotment. I'm going to focus on growing productively and, max and maximizing what you can grow at the allotment. Thanks for watching. As usual, just arrive at the plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the blue sheet cover that I have and then we're going to start doing some work. <coughs> Okay, so this week is just going to be carrying on from where I left off last week. As you can probably see on the video, I took out some of the weeds along here. The bed is nearly created. So what I'm going to do is take out the rest of the weeds along here. Hopefully have a border going around. And once I've got the border, that'll be bed number two done. But first and foremost, I have to take out the weeds. But at the same time as taking out the weeds, I'm going to give this a little bit of a cultivation. Yeah, so that soil gets a little bit of air gets a little bit fluffy um, so let's not waste time let's just get on with it now you can see I've completely dug it all up, took out the majority of weeds. If you like me, a little bit lazy, it's better to take the weeds out first time round, otherwise you're constantly gonna be taking out the weeds. So, I've taken out the majority of the weeds that I can see. All I'm gonna do is just gonna slide it, a couple of feet in, into the bed there. Therefore, the bed will then be made. Fingers crossed, let's do it. There, I admit, I forgot my hammer. Okay, so I'm really happy with today's activities. My objective today was really to come and try and clean that entire second bed out. I've actually done that, I've completely taken out all of the weeds, even put a semi board around. I need to bring a couple of screws in and a hammer for next time when I come, but I'm really, really happy with the, with the work. Okay, so this is the second part of the video where I try and provide some help, tips and information. This week, I'm going to talk about growing productively and maximising what you can actually get from one particular area, okay? I don't know if you can tell, but the rain is starting to come down, but I'm still going to get this video done. The lighting may not be as good, however, let's crack on. The whole idea of having a plot is so that you can have veg all year round, okay? Well, another reason is just to get away from the crazy people and come to the allotment so you can spend a bit of time yourself. But anyway, you want to maximise what you can grow at the allotment. Therefore, you need to constantly be growing either in the ground or seeding ready to put in the ground. When I got an allotment, I didn't actually think about being productive. All I wanted to do actually was just put something in the ground, water it, watch it grow, watch it flower, let it do its goods, i.e. potatoes, and then dig them up, eat them. Fantastic. Runner beans put the runner beans in, watch them grow along the canes, pick them out, eat them. I didn't think about productivity at all. But this year, I'm gonna be a little bit smarter and I'm gonna be much more productive. A couple of examples. One example of being productive is looking at the variety, okay? Now, by that I mean certain vegetables, and I'm gonna use potatoes as an example, you can grow at different times in the year, they take a little bit longer to grow and they're absolutely fine. So if we start off with the potatoes, you've got earlies, you've got second earlies and you've got the main crop, okay? So with the potatoes, you've got the, the earlies. Now, the earlies, there's a whole bunch of potatoes that come into that particular segment. With the earlies, you can actually put them out early spring, okay? So 
plant them out early spring and then they'll be ready early summer okay so you put them in early spring they're ready early summer then you've got the second earlies you put them in mid spring so not early mid spring and they're ready guess what yeah mid september ish okay so you've got that <laughs> then you've got your main crop and you can put them in again mainly depending on the variety the weather and the conditions you've got you can probably put them in mid spring okay and they'll be ready late summer early autumn so having the three lots of variety in the potatoes your early your second earlies and your main crop you put them in a little bit slower i.e a little bit later on and therefore they're ready a little bit later on and some of them take a little bit later so then you've got potatoes the entire summer then early summer mid summer and into going into uh, autumn as well now that is one example and i'll be doing that looking at varieties on potatoes is one way to do it, but you can actually use that same principle on other vegetables you can use it on carrots you can use it on turnips a couple of th great things about that you get vegetables for a little bit longer i think and also you've got a bunch of varieties to taste and see what will actually work in the soil you've got and what won't work okay so the second example to be a little bit productive at the allotment i think works well is when you sow something don't sow everything at once i.e if you're going to do carrots don't put all of your carrot seeds in the tray in that one time or in the ground that once okay i think if you do one tray week one one tray week two one tray week three potentially and in theory when the carrots are ready to be pulling they're going to be ready at week one week two week three so if you put them in um, at the beginning of march okay and let's say for example it's going to take you three months for them to be ready <coughs> march it'll be march march april may first week of june you'll be able to pull one lot up second week of june you'll be able to put one up and then the third week of june you'll be able to pull another lot up so if you do them weekly okay you're going to get a little bit more veg i think it extends your growing season it gives you something to do and if worst case scenario one lot doesn't work you've still got another lot a benefit to that is you're not constantly storing the veg okay you can come in harvest it pull it out of the ground bang eat it fresh you're not storing it for a couple of days now i've only spoken about two ways to be productive in terms of looking at the different varieties okay and then sowing them um on a sort of like teardry as opposed to there's lots and lots of other different ways to be productive at the particular allotment um you've got intercropping you've got cratch cropping you've got companion cropping there's so many different things you can do i'm not going to have time to go through them all today plus i'm getting incredibly cold and it's getting dark i will however make some other videos to help as we go along and as i do them thanks a lot everybody for watching hope you liked it thumbs up if you did feel free to subscribe i will be here every week we have had some snow it has actually started to rain a little bit um looking out there had a little bit of sleep i've still done the video i hope i can be helpful complete novice is helping another novice is ideal last year i learned a little bit i made a couple of mistakes hopefully this year it's going to be a hell of a lot better thanks a lot guys